speaking to my fellow council members, you know that for over two years now, uh, with some interruptions from COVID, we've been educating ourselves and talking with many, many members of the public about how to ensure not only that Tucker is an inclusive, fair, and welcoming community, but that we find a way to make it clear to our citizens and the world beyond Tucker's borders that that is in fact the case. Tonight, I'm asking you to take action with me. During the Tucker Business Association, Tucker Civic Association, mayoral candidate forum a few weeks ago, I said, as I have many times in the past, that I fully support the intent of a non-discrimination ordinance. I've long wanted to pass a resolution confirming that we as a city, in fact, embrace our diversity and seek to protect all people from discrimination. I've not pursued a resolution, we've not pursued a resolution because some voices said it was not enough. Well, since that forum, I've heard from a lot of other voices. Some are here tonight. I've heard from them in their homes, in neighborhoods, in a grocery store, on Main Street, as is the way in local government. And those voices have urged me to present such a resolution to the council because it does have meaning. It's what's in their hearts, it's what's in my heart, what's in your hearts, and more importantly, it's what's in the hearts of our community. These people encouraged me emphatically to do what we can do now. They urged me to remove the politics from the matter and make it about what it should be, which is people. People above politics. We have always said, well before cityhood even, that it's our people that make Tucker a special welcoming place. And when we say people, we mean all people. We should always seek to draw strength from our diversity. When we do, we accomplish great things. At no time was that more apparent than during the cityhood movement when we all came together to keep Tucker, all of Tucker, as one community, when there were in fact others who sought to divide us and to pit us against one another. Instead, we united and made history. And ever since then, we've been making historic progress together as a city. So I'm grateful to all of you who took the time to reach out uh, to me in support of a resolution. And I want to thank the cities of Stone Mountain, Pine Lake, and Columbus for sharing their own resolutions, which inform and add greatly to this one. So with that, I'm going to move that the following res resolution be adopted tonight. I second. This is a resolution of the city of Tucker, Georgia to provide for an inclusive, fair, and welcoming city. Whereas the Mayor and City Council of Tucker recognize the importance of embracing our city's diversity. And whereas the Mayor and City Council of Tucker desire to ensure that all persons within the city have equal access to employment, housing, and public accommodations. And whereas it is the purpose and intent of the Mayor and City Council of Tucker to protect and safeguard the rights of all persons to be free from all forms of discrimination in regard to employment, housing, and public accommodations. And whereas the Mayor and City Council of Tucker affirm federal laws and those of the state of Georgia that define illegal forms of discrimination, including case law decided by the Supreme Courts of the United States and of the state of Georgia. Now therefore be it resolved that the Mayor and City Council of Tucker adopt this statement of values providing for an inclusive, fair, and welcoming city. People of every sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, race, color, age, physical or mental ability or disability, national origin, religion or beliefs, marital status, familial status, veteran or military status, who seek its peace and prosperity are welcomed and encouraged to reside, work, recreate, and worship in the city of Tucker. And discrimination by any individual or organization, whether public or private, based upon any person's actual or perceived sex, sexual orientation, gender identity, race, color, age, physical, mental ability or disability, national origin, religion or beliefs, and marital status, familial status, veteran or military status, will not be tolerated in the city of Tucker. And the health, safety, and welfare of the city of Tucker increases when we regard and treat each other with respect, kindness, and love. And we add to the quality of life in the city of Tucker when we endeavor at every turn to gain understanding from our diverse backgrounds, experiences, and individuality, and strength from our shared values of being inclusive, fair, and welcoming. 
Be it further resolved, the city manager will cause this resolution to be distributed immediately through all communication channels operated by the city of Tucker. And be it further resolved, the city's finance director will ensure that a copy of this resolution be distributed to every holder of an occupational tax certificate within the city of Tucker at least once per year. So resolved and adopted this 12th day of October 2021. I want to add one other thing. Um, it's not really part of the motion, but we've had we had a couple of our um, council members uh, reach out recently to offer to help create a framework for a working group that can begin to gather uh, information and study this issue. Uh, Pat, Matt, if it's all right with you, I'd like to ask you and Ann Lerner to follow through on that and bring us a proposal on how that working group would be constructed. Uh, if you're willing, we can start work on that right away. Uh, just wanted to make sure that you all knew that there was some follow-up intended behind this. And um, with that, we have a motion and a second. I seconded it so quickly, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's <laughs> quite all right. If, if you'd like to have something to say about it, I'll recognize you first. Um, I just want to say thank you, Mayor, and thank you, Council. Um, you know, starts and stops off and on, but everybody's intention was that our hearts are there, like you said, um, and we'll get there. But I really appreciate, you know, we had a chance to take a breath <laughs> and really think through and look at it. And it, as you said, and I'm sorry if I was one of those voices that said maybe it wasn't enough um, because it is, right? If it's in your heart, you should say it and you should put it out there. And um, I appreciate all of those people, all those voices that you heard from throughout when you restate it once again, that that was our intent all along. And so I think it's important. I think it's important, like you said, I wanna thank Snow Mountain, Pine Lake, Columbus, and many other cities that we've talked to to um, you know, help us get to that resolution. And, and just really um, appreciate all the efforts and looking forward to working with Pat and Matt on the um, framework. So thank you. I think that this is an important piece of work that we need to do and I think investing the time of council members Matt, and also and with this to create a framework is the framework is where we start things to work together, make sure that we're not missing any pieces or parts or anything else. I feel that yes, we all had our heart that we want to have a city that's totally fair to everybody without any exception. And the only way that we can do that is to make sure that we've got all the pieces and parts put together in such a fashion that if it is an ordinance, it's not only sustainable, it's protectable, and it's defensible. <clears throat> well, thank you, Anne and Matt and Pat, for taking that on. I know you have a lot of stuff on your plate, so that's great. And just um, thank you, Mayor Allman, for this. And your work on the hate crimes legislation as well, or hate crimes resolution as well. I appreciate you putting it together and um, helping us display our, our hearts for the rest of the community. So good work, appreciate it. Anyone else? Let's go on. And for those that are listening, we can't meet in quantities of four, particular form, so that's why you're seeing quantities of three. So don't think it's a not interested thing amongst the council. That's just how we operate as a government body. The, um, the important thing that we've done with the city is trying to create it and making sure that we are committed to each other and committed to, to fair and equitable growth. One of the things that Matt and Sonia had today was the, the training session and they were talking about the market, uh, the motto for the city that we're trying to come up with uh, years ago. and, and Matt was saying that we came up with welcome home. The bottom line is, in everything that we're trying to do, it's trying to make sure that the city council represents you and you with us represent an opportunity for all people. So that's what we're looking forward to. So thank you, Mayor. Thank you. So we have a motion and a second. We have the resolution as it is in front of you. Uh, for other discussion? All right, then yes. Let's we'll call a question and ask all those in favor of the resolution uh, of the motion as presented to please say aye. 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 
Thank you all very much. Let's big step forward. Yeah.